always miss the good stuff. It was more important to get you up and running, back to your old self. Okay, we stayed ahead of Retro this time, but there's little doubt he's gonna keep at it. Agreed. He's just gonna keep amping up the danger and threats until Maywood Glen is destroyed for good. We've gotta find him and stop him. Em, you know how he said there's no bad ideas? Well, this might be the definition of a bad idea. But if we're using it to catch a bad guy, then maybe two wrongs make a right. Or at least close enough to a right to take the risk of being wrong, right? Believe it or not, I think I'm following you. Retro is known for spoofing, concealing his originating IP address through false fronts. The only way to find the source address is to access and analyze the datagram packets in his broadcasts. That would take a boatload of Innovate server power. I know. It's crazy risky, but I think it's gonna work. Innovate server power is divided into offensive and defensive systems, right? Yeah, one to go after the bad guys and one to protect our database. Okay, if you can switch Innovate's computers to offense, we might have the power to trace Retro's signal directly to him. What? You mean let down our defenses, making us completely vulnerable? Right. I think you may be onto something. I won't allow it. There is great risk involved in exposing the Innovate server core. Everything in the agency, security, data, undercover aliases, secret identities, could be lost. Hundreds of agents around the world could be exposed and put in danger, which would mean the end of Innovate as we know it. I can do it. I just need 60 seconds. If Bryce says she can do it, then she can do it. Look, you've always taught me to weigh the pros and cons of any idea. Fine. Pros? We stop retro. Cons? Everything else. It's just too dangerous. Retro isn't just targeting Maywood Glen anymore. What do you mean? We've been thinking, maybe there's a pattern to everything Retro's done. A method to his look on it. We were trying to find a connection between his target locations, specifically addresses. The school is at 3889 Mayfield Drive, the warehouse is at 77 North Roscoe Boulevard, and the dam is at 77036 West Route 6. Sorry, my brain just does that. But it's not the street names. It's the numbers. Latitude and longitude. Well, that explains the quo. 38.8977 North and 77.0366 West. They're the coordinates for Washington, D.C. La Casa Blanca, the White House. Retro has been playing with us from the very start. He's going after the president? Quail, the clock is ticking. There's no time. We need to get out there. Go get him, girls. Remind me to surprise you more often. I usually don't like frosting, but this is killer good. I need you to call Brian Cam. And then we saw for sure, meaning Lazarus is behind everything. She's been watching the Quail and I this entire time. Now it makes sense why she quit today. I guess running an evil empire is more rewarding than making scones. Guys. This whole thing has been about Lazarus getting revenge on the quail and innovate. We have to stop her. Michaela, the quail said this was too dangerous. And I believe her. Now more than ever, you have to let it go. Besides, if something happened to you, we'd never forgive ourselves. Come on, I, I can't do this alone. I need you. Emma, we're responsible for all this going wrong in the first place. Clearly, we're not cut out to be secret agents. You're all more capable than you know. I have total faith in you guys. That's just it. We don't have faith in ourselves. We're sorry, Em. Me too.
Kayla. I'm cleaning up some final details before our move to a new location. I should be home soon. Fine. Look, I know you're sad to leave, but right now, as hard as this is, I need you to pack. What do you think I'm doing? Looks like you're randomly throwing your clothes around your room. <sighs> there, ready. Michaela. No, you don't understand what it's been like to bounce around from town to town my entire life. I finally felt like I belonged somewhere. I made friends. And they'll always be your friends no matter where you go. But we have to leave for our own safety. Why? Why do we have to run? Why can't we stay and fight back? Or maybe you don't want to fight back. I don't have to explain this to you. I'm your boss and your mother. Now we're leaving before sun up. End of discussion. You know, maybe none of this would have ever happened if Innovate had a better leader. That's enough, Michaela. Face it, Quail. Lazarus beat you, and you can't handle it. All right, I know you're upset and emotional. Maybe I gave you too much responsibility. Clearly, you weren't ready for it. Oh, really? Well, if that's how you feel, maybe I should just go somewhere where my talents will be appreciated. We're done here. Just finish packing. I smell opportunity. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper? If you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set. Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes, this is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to- Agent Cooper's in a high level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making its owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for Mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa, uh oh! <laughs> Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it One Giant Leap for Womankind. Son, you just got school. Would you like the records printed or viewed as a PDF? PDF, please. But hurry, Miles. Getting too risky. We'll have to come back. No, I'm not leaving without proof Dad is innocent. Huh, here you go, sir. It was buried deep. Okay. Wait! Miles. 
Please erase the database from the time I returned home until I leave today. Keep no record of this visit. What visit, sir? <laughs> I can't believe Stone destroyed my father's reputation. And because of him, I never got to know my dad. Well now, this is gonna take him down. There, there, Pumpkin. Adrian, get him some nice hot tea. It'll calm her rattle nerves right up. Kim, please. Sorry, I was still in character. Look, I don't get it. Why would Stone have no regrets plants a bomb and point the finger at a bunch of protesters? For sympathy? Makes him look like a victim. Or as a distraction. From what? Maybe it has something to do with what we found. After the surprising results from our H2O challenge, where stone water and tap water finished an attack, we conducted a chemical evaluation on both waters. Using electrochemical analysis, we tested for levels of calcium, sodium, potassium. Iron, sulfates, chloride, nitrate. You get the idea. Each body of water has its own unique chemical makeup, depending on where it comes from. Think of it as the water's very own unique fingerprint. And what we found is, well, see for yourselves. Maywood Glen water versus stone bottled water. Wait, so what's the difference? Nada. They're exactly the same. Stone water is Maywood Glen water. How can that be true? Only one way to find out. Look for the source. Cam, when I was in Intern at Space Inc., weren't they studying the effects of the drought on Maywood Glen's underground water? Right. May I? They're using satellite radar to measure underground water levels. The yellow is Maywood Glen's aquifer, its groundwater supply. The purple shows where the levels have been depleted. You can see it's been pumped and it's low. The blue shows the flow of the aquifer. Well, I'll be darned. The main artery of water runs right through Farmer Adele's land. And directly under Stone Acres. And it's where the groundwater is most depleted. Could Stone be stealing water? Contributing to the drought? Farmer Adele mentioned construction trucks coming and going from Stone Acres at all hours of the day and night. But the construction is complete. There's no reason for trucks. Except maybe to transport water. I think it's time we pay those old truckers a friendly visit to check out just what they're really hauling.